previously on Team Money Time. The game we've all been waiting for is finally here. Press to start placement. Oops. Let's go right into the next episode. Hello everybody. Welcome back to episode 2 of Team Money Time Minecraft Legends Let's Play. So I've been playing a little bit of Legends. Let's get underway. First thing I plan on doing is, but first of all, let's just admire this. I mean, look, look at these little guys. Look at these little guys. Just little, little animals. Oh, we got chicken too. Well, let's gather a few animals real quick, shall we? All right, there we go. We got my, we got my animal army now. So adorable. So I'm gonna just keep them here real quick so I don't, uh, so they don't die because I want to keep these little cute little guys safe. Alright, so let's check the map real quick. So, according to this map, we have a village right here this that's under, under attack. attack. Go to them. Yes, yes. The yes, yes, relentless. yes, foresight. Yes, yes, you can stop talking. Alright, so we got this. But before we do that, I mean, I have some resources, but I mean, I would like some more. So I'm just going to start heading this general direction. And then, uh, I'll only do another little, uh, resource gathering montage, shall we? Starting right now. Alright, now all the LAs are done with all their resource gathering, aka deforestation, and uh, destroying the environment for monetary gain. Uh, let's head over into the village now. We interrupt this episode of Team Money Time with a word from our sponsor. The subscribe button is a free to tap button that promotes this video to others. And if you're still not convinced, here are three reasons why you should press that red button. Reason one, because nice. Reason two, because free. Reason three, because you should. Well, I see the village. That's the village. Get over there quickly. That's the plan action. Okay, okay. The little pink monsters must be stopped. Should be a piece of cake. Quickly, quickly! Because it's kind of like of playing it a bit. The, okay, yes, you can stop talking about it. It's kind of playing this a little bit. You, you might just think lapis you just think it is. can be used to fuel your I, I know knowledge. Collect the lapis to keep your fires burning. I, I know, I know. You can please let me talk. So, kind of like doing some stuff. It's easiest just to honestly just get like a group of these guys. Like honestly, I could just, I'm just gonna do 10 for now. So I don't need like too, too many. But these plant golems, they just basically instantly annihilate any and all piglins. Like very easily. So I'm gonna let these guys free. You're free. No, don't die. Why are you running that way? Like, run for cover, guys. No, don't go over there. You're safe. You're fine. Put that one back. Get the piggies. I'm gonna. Oh, no, not not you, piggy. You you can stay here. Come on, come on, come on with me. Let's rescue these guys. Huzzah! We did it! I know, I know I'm your hero, yeah, I know, wait. Oh, your fountain, it's broken. The immediate danger is over, but the village is devastated. The piglins have ruined the fountain. So anyway, fountain. we build a carpentry hunt there, we build a carpentry hunt there, and I think that should get everything. Let's see. Pro's glowing. 
Oh, they want me to build it here? Oh, well, I built it here and there. Oh, I have to build another one then. There we go. Okay. Yep, uh, I guess we're going with three then. <laughs> you never have too many carpentry on. What a relief! The water flows again. Yippee! Wowzers. The piglins are mounting an attack on another village. Oh no. There is no time to waste. The villagers need you. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, Foresight, we'll go to the next village now. Oh, that's all ten of them? Oh, there's all ten of them. Oh, I thought I had more guys. Because you guys probably may know or not, but... Basically, if you have any, mo like, spawned mobs that you spawned, and they're just kind of, like, somewhere random, you can hold E to recall them, and then they get teleported back to you instantly. Which, that's probably one of the best features, especially if there's, like, like a few mobs that just get stuck somewhere and you don't know where they're at. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna spawn a few more of these guys, you know, just double their population. Alright, let's go. Remember... Village number two, wherever that is. Uh, right here. These villagers need your help. I know, action. Patience, patience, please. Please be patient. I'm going. Next little montage. Oh, here's the village. Oh no, they're running to attack again. Don't worry, guys. These plank elms. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of these guys. So I'm just gonna send them over here. We can actually send a couple over here too, and then I can just attack the other front. Fun god. Get the piggies! Yay! Piglins are gone. We thank you. The wisest thing is still taking damage if they're gone. Too. Go to the village chest at the base of the fountain for a surprise. Yeah, I love surprises. What are we gonna get? Some prismarine, maybe? Oh my goodness, I'm a genius. We want to help where they can. As gratitude, you can count on the resourcefulness to keep you in the fight. They'll keep gathering materials for you while you're out saving the day. The Which piglins honest? are rallying on the outskirts of the village. I think another attack is on the way. I know. Better build up some defenses while there's still time. I know. Can you please let me talk? Um, because that's actually kind of like late. Will work well to defend this village. Please, 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 please stop. Because while you're like away, because eventually late game you'll need like thousands and thousands of resources because you're making like all these like big bases and stuff to get rid of all the big Peglin bases and whatnot. You basically only rely, you never really use your lays to gather stuff, like, unless it's like iron or redstone, but you basically you need get, to get all- some defenses up around the village. Please let me finish, please. You basically get all your wood and stone from the village chests. So, when there's stuff in there, see, I just topped off my, uh, wood and stone, just, just like that. So that's good. So basically at every village, I always build a spawner, probably should build one of each, but- for now, we just need the plank golems because the cobblestone golems. There's still some time to gather up resources if you're getting low, but be quick. I never finish talking to these guys. I'd probably just turn them off, maybe if I can. <laughs> but you only use the cobblestone guys for um, which one's under attack? Oh, this place is under attack. Okay, you only use the cobblestone uh golems basically just for destroying uh, buildings, because they're like the, the anti-building guys. Don't forget. Your golem friends want to help too. Fine, I'll spam arrow towers. Legit. Like every single uh Oh, I forgot. I don't They're have here. Oh, I can't watch this. My other um seed I have like I think like eight build delays, so it's kinda hard. So I'm just like, eh, I wanna keep building. The piglins are here. Slow. Brace yourself here. I'm fine, I'm fine. You don't have to worry. I just uh kinda Talk a bit too long and uh, forgot to set up the defense. More piglins approaching. We're fine though. The piglins will attack from all sides, so be sure to check really? your compass to see where they're coming from. So, what I do is 
if I can like plan this out a little better, which I didn't. But usually what I do is I kind of split my forces in like maybe quarters and then I take a side. Or yeah, that's usually what I do. So I usually put these guys somewhere, just quickly grab a few of them, like one or two, it doesn't really matter. And then I just put them down somewhere random. And then I just go back, rinse and repeat. Sometimes I grab a little more on accident, that's fine, but okay. Oh, and this little guy's gonna be all by himself. All right, I'll stay with you. You can just follow me around. And then on the up top of my screen, see that little flag there? Yeah, that's where they're attacking from. Not really good of them to give their location away when they're melting the assault, right? That's just, that's just poor planning and management. You're doing great. Part. Just a little longer and you've got this. Yeah. More piglets. I know, no, I do, I know. There we go. Uh, where's the next attack? Over here. Get him, boys. doing I think construct a few more arrow towers might be in my best interest to do so all right those things are good let's head back over here oh those guys right here okay yep they got those guys let's see are those big ones right here? oh they are hmm being sneaky are we now the attack is over, but some piglins. Oh yeah, yeah, cutscene now. Skip that. Yay! Oh, look at them—they're all the jumping up and down the shelf. They defended their fountain. They've put some extra resources in the chest for you as a special thank you. You are doing well. The piglins do not give up easily. Even now, they prepare an attack upon another of our villages. But this time, we have the advantage. If you can shut down the piglin outpost surrounding the village, we might be able to push back this invasion. You you guys done? You done? Good. Alright, now we just open the chest. Wowzer. Hit my resource cap on uh, Lapis, but that's fine. Now let me go back to my spawner, use the recall ability, collect my old guys, all of them are still alive now. Um, I think that's about it for now at least. So I guess next time we'll go do the outposts. Yeah, it's not like a game plan. Defended two villages, we got all these nice buddies by our side now fighting. Look at them all lined up. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned to episode three coming out pretty soon. I don't know if two weeks is pretty soon, but that's what's coming out. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode until the end. Episodes like this one will be posted every two weeks, so keep a lookout. I also want to give a big thank you to these subscribers on your screen now. For a chance to make it on this list, make sure to subscribe. That's all for today's episode, T-Mike Time. So God bless, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.